Shawty going in I know you want my body Jeans hugging on my waist Watch me, watch me drop it Oh yeah Boy, you know I got it The way you spin it all around And I pop it, pop it They be like, ooh la la la, ooh, la, la. I'm good All right, Jersey, how you doing? I'm good Welcome to the show Thank you Appreciate you having me For the people out there, tell us uh, a little something about yourself um, well, obviously, as he said, my name is Jersey, 22 years old, um, R&B slash pop slash hip hop slash everything type of artist. Um, I write, I dance, I've been working on trying to, you know, learn how to produce and stuff like that so I can be not just, uh, you know, an artist or whatever, I want to know how to do everything. So, um, that's, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Okay, and tell us about the song that's playing right now. Oh, sex that's um, that's Sex Cave. Um, <laughs> the history with Sex Cave. Um, any song that I write, I pretty much write from experience. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like the last hottest, pretty much sexual type song was Motivation by Kelly Rowland. And I feel like ever since then, mm -hmm. there really hasn't been one. So Sex Cave pretty much came from the, the Motivation era, per se. And I wanted to write something that not only ladies could walk around and sing, but guys could also, you know, bump in their cars. They could hear and be like, you know, hey, this is hot. You know, I like this. I'm, you know, I'm dealing with what, you know, Shorty is saying or whatever. So that's that's sex game. You know, it's one of those metaphorical type songs. Oh, okay. You know, this is a Christian show, right? Oh well, you know what I mean. That's that's. No, I'm just fucking. You know, they gonna be coming at once they get sex game. You know, it's Christian, all right? <laughs> so how long have you been in the game? Um, well, I have actually been in a game since I was like four. Mm -hmm. um, I've been singing, performing, you know, doing pageants and things of that nature since I was four. But as far as like doing, you know, actually knowing what I was doing and actually, you know, putting it all out there, I was like 11. So, you know, 22 now, 11 years, going strong. So, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you doing your thing. That's what's up. So, uh, with that being said, who or what inspired you to actually get into singing? Um... Honestly, I mean, I had the typical, you know, Whitney Houston and Minnie mm -hmm. Rippleton. And, you know, I, I have a, a lot of people say I have an older soul. Good. You know what I mean? So that's that's pretty much my inspiration. But also, a lot of the haters, a lot of the people who said that I couldn't sing and I couldn't rap and I couldn't dance and I would never make it. Mm -hmm. Those are the people that, you know, I wake up every day and I'm like, you know, I have my support system. But mm -hmm. I have those people who are so negative And I'm just like, you know what? You think I can't do it, it pushes me like that much harder to be like, okay, let me go ahead, you know, let me go harder, let me go strong. And then they're sitting there like, oh, dang, you know, dang, she's actually, you know, doing something. So that keeps me, it keeps me going. Like when they say haters are truly your motivators, it's definitely yeah. what I live by. Yeah. They are, you should definitely let them be your footstool. Definitely. Okay. So, um, what made you, like, I, mean, I know you, you named a few people mm -hmm. um, who pretty much inspired, inspired you. Who are your top five? inspirations that are either R&B singers, neo soul singers, or etc. Um, definitely Lauren Hill, mm -hmm. um, Vivian Green, okay, um, Chrisette Michelle, L. Varner, and another five. I would I would have to throw Beyonce in there. Like I would have to. I would have to. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so what what do you feel separates you from any other R&B or pop singers? Um, I feel like. I do so much more than a lot of people do. Um, I feel like I can write. I, you know, working on my producing, like I said, you know, and I also feel like with my music, a lot of people have writers for them, and they can get out there and they can portray that message. But I feel like with me, I actually write my own music, and therefore I put more emotion in any song that I do. I could be talking about walking up the street to McDonald's, and I guarantee you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel like you in that line with me getting that double cheeseburger. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna feel it. You know, <laughs> like you're gonna feel it. You know, and I feel like a lot of artists nowadays they they're out there, but they don't put themselves out there. I feel like with every song that I sing, I can pull my audience in, and they're like, "Oh my God, I feel what she's saying." You know, "Oh my God," like I remember when I went through that, and this is how she got through it. Maybe this is how I can get through it. You know, so. I feel like I'm a voice for a lot of people. Okay, that's yeah. what's up. Uh, how long have you been working with Stone Cold Media Group? Um, right now it's been about two to three months, mm -hmm. but I swear in like the two to three months, I feel like I've known them for years. Like, when you talk about a family, like, that's an understatement for how we are. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? They they not only care about 
the business side of you, they care about like who you are as a person. Like I could walk around and be like, oh my God, I got a paper cut. <laughs> and they will be like, oh my God, you need band-aids? You need to go to the hospital? Like, what do you need? We're here, we're here, you know? Whereas like other people, they wouldn't be, it would just be like, oh, okay, she got a paper cut, but can you still get on that stage and sing? You know, that's what they would care about. But them, it's like, okay, you're good. Are you okay? Okay, you're good. All right, you're good. Okay, now, back to the studio. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, yeah. So what, what do you feel, about, how do you feel about the music scene, the current music scene here in Chicago? Um, I feel like we definitely could be more united. Um, Chicago has so much talent, so much talent, whether it be writers, dancers, singers, rappers, whatever. It's so much talent, but there's so much of, like, for example, if there's a show, an R&B singer, she's doing a show. She won't tell another R&B singer about the show because she feels like, you know, there's another R&B singer coming in there. Whereas I look at it like, okay, if I'm doing a show and I'm an R&B singer, oh, okay, you sing too? Girl, let me tell you about this show. You need to come in. We all need to show them that there's more than just one person, you know, in Chicago who has talent. So, like I said, I feel like we could be so, so much more united and we could, like, seriously take over the game. Like, if, if everybody would just stick together and work together, the music industry would be, like, all Chicago-based as far as I'm concerned. That's true. There's definitely yeah. strength in numbers. So, Chicago, get it together. Definitely. Support your people. Support one another. So, how would you describe a live performance? You're one of your live performances. What will people get? Um, they definitely get a show. Uh -huh. um, I'm not one of those artists who gets up there, hold the mic, and stand in one place. That's not me. Mm -hmm. um, you will get a lot of energy. I'm one of those. I like to go into the audience and you know, pull people into my performance. I like to have dancers, um, if it permits, depending on the venue, mm -hmm. live band, backup singers. Like, you know, when I do a show, I want to give you what you're coming for. You know, mm -hmm. I want to give you a performance. I want to leave that impression on you, like, oh, Shorty Snap. You know, like, man, we remember her when she did this. Like, I mean, we've done shows and they've been as crazy as to have, like, flips and jumps and, you know, just crazy banana stuff on stage. So, you know, and I also, I do skits as well. So mm -hmm. I line up my songs, you know, based off of content and mm -hmm. then I act out, you know, the songs and I act out little skits, you know, aside from that too. So I definitely put on a show. Like it's definitely. Jill Scott yeah, you know, I, you know, I do what I can, you know. It's definitely, mm -hmm. it's definitely something to be seen, like me performing. Do accent. <laughs> so with that being said, where do you see yourself um, within the next two to five years, where would you like to see yourself? Um, next two to five years, I see myself definitely being a force to be reckoned with in the game. Um, I see myself being labeled as an icon, even at a young age. Um, I see people looking at me as inspiration, as their motivation, as, you know, a role model. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, yeah, taking over the game. Two to five years, I plan on being on that sophomore album, mm -hmm. maybe working on a third, um, you know, just taking over. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's what's yeah. Tell us about your uh, song, She's Nasty. That's a hot record. <laughs> Thank you. Um, she, <laughs> She's Nasty. Oddly enough, I was in the studio, and we were talking about how we wanted a Atlanta feel song, and we were talking about artists that we, you know, just wanted to collab with. And I first thing, when you hit a record, First person I thought of was Ludacris. Mm -hmm. First person. And I'm like, you know, I want to do a song where I could just have Ludacris on it and he just go in. And we just sat there and I'm like, you know what? Man, she nasty. And the title just stuck. It just stuck. <laughs> so, you know, we threw that in a hook. And they like, you going to write a song called She Nasty? People are not going to adapt to that. I'm like, no, but you know, nasty is going to be the new word for bad. Mm -hmm. right. You know, so now people hear and they're like, oh, she nasty. Oh, yeah, she's nasty. You know, so it's basically a club type chick is bad she in the club and she just she knows she bad and the guys know she bad too mm -hmm. you know it's just it's basically that type of feel song dance track you know guys don't love it because i guarantee you they gonna be walking around talking about man shorty nasty and the girls don't love it <laughs> <laughs> walking around talking about man i'm nasty you know and like people who haven't heard the song they'll be like okay what are they talking about but then you know it's definitely one of those feel good dance type you know tracks Okay, that's what's up. So what we do here mm -hmm. is we put people in the hot seat. Oh, okay, let's go. So what I'm gonna, what we're gonna do <laughs> is we're gonna ask you two things, and you gotta pick one or the other. Mm -hmm. But you can't pause, stop. Let me think about it. Ask the people here. Mm -hmm. You gotta, you gotta go quick. <laughs> uh oh, okay. So you ready? Yeah, I guess. Yes, ready as I'm gonna be. You wanna okay. go first, pair? Hold on one second. It's interesting, Gene. You know, mention a few people that we have. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. All right. 
Oh my goodness. Um, okay, yeah, let's roll. Um, Harold's or Uncle Remus? Uncle Remus. Big or Pop? Big. Jill Scott or Chris and Michelle? Chris and Michelle. Rick Ross or Young Jeezy? Oh, Young Jeezy. Power 92 or WGCI? WGCI. Facebook or Twitter? Twitter. Nas or Common? Common. Eminem or Jay-Z? Eminem. Tank or Tyree? Tank. Oh. <laughs> I found uh, that one. <laughs> uh, uh, tank, tank, tank again. <laughs> Lambo or Bentley? Bentley. I don't know if you, I mean, you, you know you have an old soul, so you should know this. Keith, Keith Sweat or Keith Washington? Keith Sweat. Uh, Erica Badu or India Ari? Erica. Missy Elliott, Missy Elliott or Nicki Minaj? Missy Elliott. Ooh, good girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many people say Nicki Minaj when we have her versus yeah. That's why you should just like kick them out. Yeah. <laughs> R. Kelly or Trey Songz? R. Kelly. Luther Van Dross or Freddie Jackson? Luther. <laughs> All right. Uh, Lauren Hill or Alicia Keys? Lauren. Mac or PC? Mm, Mac. Well, I got to get this one. Amari <laughs> Young or Chris Brown? Uh, <clears throat> Ooh, uh, Chris Brown. Here we go. Beyonce or Kelly Rowland? Beyonce. All right. Uh, dark Skin Mama from Fresh Prince or Light Skin Mama from Fresh Prince? <laughs> I'm sorry, dark skin. Yeah, I love dark skin too. Every day, all day. Flavor Flame or Split Star, right? Okay, so since I don't know who that other person <laughs> right. is, that's I'm gonna say Flavor. That's Buster Rhymes type like me. Oh, yeah, that's Flavor. <laughs> like, like mm, I'm scared of him, so Flavor. Oh, my goodness. Uh, dark or light liquor? Light. Okay, MTV or BT? BT. And you are officially out of the hot seat. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Toasty. <yeah. laughs> You, Uncle Remus was very telling. <laughs> well, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. The first time I even had Harold's, like, mm -hmm. out of the years that I've been in Chicago was, like, last year. First time was last year. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie. It, it was banging, you know, <laughs> but I've had more Uncle Remus, so I've had more experiences with that, you know. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. But they cold sauce fat boys. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you that boys, boys. I'm still mad at, uh... Damn it, I can't think of Wale. Yeah. You don't know Brad Mouse from Harold's. Why should I tell that correct him on that? Mouse. Chick mouth chicken wings, not just the mouth sauce. You know no better. Yeah, because people were like, you just went to the chicken place and got sauce. Right. You got all this money and you got sauce. You didn't even try the chicken. Right. I'm like, you know, do you want. So you to be interesting. You have any upcoming shows or anything? Um, Probably like towards next month or whatever we got a lot of you know things that are in the works or whatever that you know people want me to perform this that, and the other but you know you don't just do any show mm -hmm. you know so mm -hmm. you got to make sure everything is legit and everything is in order and all the logistics are there you don't want to deal with the promoter like yeah about your money uh yeah let me talk to you i've had a lot of like oh yeah we want you to come out and perform and we're gonna do this that and the other then the show is you know there and it's like oh well, yeah um about your money yeah, yeah. you know <laughs> yeah you know, the door didn't do what yeah, we thought. Yeah, the door didn't do what we... It's, a, it's packed to capacity. Obviously, yeah. the door did do what it's supposed to do. Yeah, it's a shame. The promoter job got to do better. Yeah. But he's an like, artist. So, um, what... Yeah, do you have any projects coming up? Um, well, right now, I'm actually working on the album. Um, I'm working with a lot of high producers, mm -hmm. um, some industry producers. So, you already know the project's going to be heat. Mm -hmm. um, I actually have about 18... About 18 songs that are finished. Um, hi, I mean, I know you've heard, you know, a few of them or whatever, but, you know, it's just, it's all about progress. It's all about having that right sound. I mean, anybody can get out there and do 20 plus tracks and put it on a CD and say, this is my album or this is my mixtape, but mm -hmm. is it going to have quality? You know what right, I mean? Right. Each song that I do, I want it to have longevity and I want it to actually have a message. So, you know, people twice my age, people younger than me, people my age can be like, oh, okay, we can relate to her. You know, mm -hmm. if it's not every song, you can at least relate to one or two, you know, so. Okay. Yeah. Now, could you give us a little sample of what people will have to look forward to? Just anything? Anything. Acapulco, right. whatever you Acapulco. want. Acapulco. 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 I like that. <laughs> do it. I guess. Whatever you mean. <clears throat> All right. There's a fire starting in my heart Reaching a fever pitch It's bringing me out the dark Finally I can see you crystal clear Go ahead and sell me out I'll lay your stuff bare 
See how I leave with every inch of you. Don't underestimate the things that I will do. Cause there's a fire starting in my heart. Reaching a fever pitch and it's bringing me out the dark. The scars of your love remind me of us. They keep me thinking that we almost had it all. The scars of your love, they leave me breathless. I can't help feeling we could have had it all. Yeah, Rolling in the deep. You had my heart inside of your hands. And you played it to the beat. Girl. Amen. I mean, that even sent chills down my spine. I'm, I'm, I'm a very, uh, I guess you could say I'm a critic. Yeah, Paris is the biggest critic we got. <laughs> but that's what, that you, you kill it, Mom. That's what's up. Thank you. Wow. And for you to be able to touch a Dale song. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. cheese, man. Yeah. She's amazing. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. That so, was nice. So, for the people out there, what's your, if they want to contact you, reach you, book you, what's the best way? Um, they can hit me up at jerseyjacobs at gmail.com. You can hit me up at bookingjersey at gmail.com. Um, Twitter, Jersey Jacobs, which is J-H-E-R-S-I-J-A-I-C-O-B-S. It's the same for Twitter, Instagram, and all of that. That's what's up. Well, I want to thank you again for coming thank out. You I know it's me. cold as shit outside. It's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. actually decent today. Uh-uh. Uh, no, just, maybe it was me because uh -huh. I was brushing. <laughs> <laughs> you were sweating, yeah, running. Yeah. So we're gonna take a quick break, and we're gonna come back to more of the J Day show. Shot, 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 and going in. I know you want my body. Jeans hugging on my waist. Watch me, watch me drop it. Oh yeah, boy, you know I got it. The way you're spinning all around. They be like, ooh la la la, ooh la la la, no you wanna see Can you handle, can you handle a, a chick like me, man? He be, he be tryna drop a line, but tell me, tell me, can you work?